morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'm, I'm Jagan. Uh, today, I'm going to present a part of my PhD work, which is Advanced Numerical Methods for Impact of Composite Materials. So basically, I uh, break materials in cyberspace to understand how to build them better in real life. So damage modeling in composites involve modeling the failure mechanisms such as fiber failure, transverse matrix packing, and delamination. This is achieved with energy-based approaches such as cohesive zone modeling, which is introduced by pre-inserting cohesive elements in a mesh. However, in a thick composite structure with multiple plies, this causes a meshing burden. To address this issue, an adaptive modeling method is developed in this work. Also, the standard linear elements require a fine mesh discretization, which increases computational cost. To solve this large meshes problem, a higher order cohesive element formulation that introduces C1 continuity is developed. This two-step solution is collectively addressed as higher order AMS or adaptive mesh segmentation. This is implemented as a user-defined subroutine in LS Dana. So this is the kinematics of the novel cohesive element formulation that is developed to enable discretization using higher coarser meshes. Basically, the vertex rotations are used to model the quadratic displacement of an edge, and multiple integration points can be used to obtain an improved fraction separation behavior. A demonstration of adaptive method is described in this slide with the help of a double cantilever beam specimen. Soon after a segmentation criterion is met in an element, discontinuity is initiated by inserting uh, new nodes and cohesive segments are adaptively formed between them. Linear momentum balance is maintained by introducing compatible surface traction. Higher order AMS involving rotation enabled cohesive element formulation and the adaptive method is validated against analytical solution and the results are compared against linear elements. In this analysis, a mesh size of one millimeter is used, whereas linear elements require 0.25 millimeter mesh, which increases computational cost. As you can see, higher order AMS provides smooth initiation of cohesive elements on the fly and stable damage propagation when compared to linear elements. The minor oscillations are expected since an explicit time integration is used. Also, to obtain similar accuracy, higher order AMS resulted in 50% reduction in computational cost. This work is published in uh, Engineering Factor Mechanics. Please go through this if you need further information. The combination of adaptive modeling, large measures, and explicit time integration in higher order AMS makes it as an exciting opportunity to try impact modeling. Delamination arising from the impact of a soft body modeled by gelatin on a composite laminate is numerically modeled with higher order AMS. Multiple results from experiments were numerically modeled with a very good accuracy, starting from the validation using displacement time history from experiments. Higher order AMS was also um, able to successfully model the threshold velocity, the velocity at which full delamination is observed. Also, they experimentally observed behaviors such as effect of misalignment in the delamination was also uh, captured. Um, in summary, uh, using uh, this method, uh, we obtained a 65% reduction in computation cost by using four and a half times fewer degrees of freedom. This work is published um, in Composite um, Science and Technology recently. So in summary, a higher order element formulation is uh, developed. This introduces, uh, this has the capability of adaptive modeling uh, and it is scalable to impact cases as well. Um, my acknowledgement to uh, Composites uh, UTC and uh, uh, Bristol Composite Institute. Um, thank you for listening to my presentation.